Give me game. Let's dive all the way in. Worldwide exclusive. Gibby gang, stand up with your boy. Y'all know why I'm here. A7X is no surprise. It's my favorite band to react to, period. You might as well call me Avenge Sevenfold D. Gibby. I might as well be the next member of the band, even though I have no musicianal talent chip whatsoever. That doesn't even make sense, but Pat and D. Gibbs, just in case it ever does make sense. But this is my 35th A7X reaction. We're throwing it back to the Nightmare album. Y'all said this is going to change the game for me. On my carry on reaction, this got commented the most, liked the most. That's why we're here. So RIP to the rev. This track, we got some facts for you. The track was written by the band's drummer Jimmy the Rev Sullivan three days before he was found dead on December 28th, 2009, making it the last song ever to be written by the Rev. Y'all know we cherished the Rev, showed love to the Rev, and appreciated his great, amazing drum talent, man. Just all around talent as a musician. But it was originally titled Death, the name of the song. M Shadows told Kerrang, interview, whatever. Uh, the words proved early prophetic. He wrote all these lyrics about finding the way when he's not there anymore. The front man's said it was as though he knew he wasn't going to be with us much longer so the rev basically predicted what was going to happen it features the rev singing as it was decided the revs demo vocals should be kept on the track as a tribute to him so i guess this also is the uh the also the only event sevenfold song to have no guitar so i don't know we're not gonna have one of them mid-track solos by sinister gates and zacky vengeance johnny christ going nuts I, I don't know what to expect out of this. I'm not going to lie to you, but we got the lyric version. Fiction is in the building. Nightmare from 2010. Noggin Thumpers, throw them things on. Haters, we just ran it enough, so we ain't got no time for y'all. Banger Shades, we're going to throw them on already because I know it's going to be a vibe and we got to do it for the rip. But let's get it on. Ramp over. No guitar. How do I? No solo action? There's gonna be a lot of heavy breakdowns, don't we? What's not real? That's what I wanna know what we're talking about. It's definitely a mystery time scene. Tempo. Like a friend, we saw it through. In the end, I gave my life for you. Mm. I know that hit deep right after this passage, man. I like that. Gave you all I had to give. Every video. He found it too. I wish him the best. He's gone, but not forgotten. Not that I can, or that I want. Let it burn uh -huh. into my skin. Let it burn. Oh, red. Is it peace? I can or I want it under my skin. Let it burn. 
this is different. I'm not used to this giving hands. He's not hurting anymore. You can feel that. The ref sound like I I said I wasn't gonna pause, but the ref sound like he could have been a country music star. I'm not his voice, Jimmy. You you should have took up country as a, as a side hustle. Come on now, right there with Alan Jackson now. You got this. So tell everybody the ones who walk beside me. Yeah, I hope you'll find your own way when I'm not with you tonight. Mm. I hope Ooh. it's worth it. I like that. What's left behind me? Yeah, I know you'll find your own oh, no. way. Finish this thing out the right way. Give me game, y'all got me when I'm gone. Find your own way when I'm not with you tonight. Mm. Forever, baby. Come on, we gonna live. Long live forever. Come on now. Mm. Okay. I can most definitely appreciate it. It was completely different and, and not in a bad way whatsoever. It was, it was a nice, beautiful change of pace, man. The, the Rev, like I said, he should took up some country music. That brother, he got some pipes on him, but hey, he's long live forever. Nothing but love, respect, condolences. He's a legend. Like, he, he's always going to be a legend. We'll never forget The Rev. I will acknowledge him in every single video, every reaction that I do to A7X, period. But he's saying that, it. What, what's the fiction title come from? It was titled Death or something like that? Hold on, what was it titled before? Let me, let me make sure I get this right. It used to be titled Death. So, in Instead of making it a, a negative title, he's saying fiction. Like, I don't know if this can be real, if life feels real. Maybe, like, a fictional story is not real, doesn't exist, but is life real without you, basically is what he's saying. But he's saying, you got this. You know what, on the other side, I found peace. I'm no longer struggling, I'm no longer in pain, whether it's anxiety, depression, every all the thoughts eating up inside of the rev no longer has to go through him because hopefully he found peace on the other side and hopefully he found the Lord and, and, and was embraced into heaven. But either way, man, you have to keep pushing after that person is gone. The best way you can honor them is by giving your all every single day, day in and day out. It's not gonna be easy. Take time to grieve, take time to deal with it. Don't forget about them, but the best way you can put them at the at the the top tier is is doing your best every single day and leaving a positive leg legacy yourself but RIP to the Rev, man. Shout out to A7X, everybody who's a part of the, the fan base, the group, the directors, the everybody who makes Avenged Sevenfold possible. I love y'all. I appreciate you for letting me react to these videos. Go check out my Avenged Sevenfold, actually my A7X reactions playlist on the channel. It's the first one up there, my favorite band to react to, period. One of my favorite bands in general to listen to overall. But subscribe if you're new, notification bell, social media up top as always. Subscribe to the gaming channel if you haven't already, Gibby Games. All my links are listed down below. Comment below what you thought of this one. Uh, what's the next one that I got to do. I know there's definitely a ton more that I got to do and we're not going to stop anytime soon. So I love y'all. I'm praying for you 2021. Let's make this thing a whole lot better than 2020. You, it, should, it should already be better day one than what, what we just went through. So on the other side, we're going we gonna to find peace. We're going to find prosperity and we're going to keep on grinding. But for right now, D. Gibby, out.
So you want to learn how to trade. You've made it to this point in the video. By, by this time, it's the end of the video and you want to learn how to trade. You want to learn how to do what your boy does for every, every single day. I teach people how to do it. I've been doing it, but I don't think you really have what it takes to do it. If you do, you'll get a hold of me via Instagram, via email, whatever it takes. Don't believe the hype that you see on Instagram as far as like I am Academy and I'm calling them out. All them, them special gurus that make it seem easy to send out signals that, that give you money in the bank. It's not money in the bank. You got to put in the work time after time. It's going to take you a solid six to 12 months to, you heard what I said, six to 12 months to really attain this skill set and be able to discipline yourself to be consistent in making money. It's not going to happen overnight. Nobody can just hand you money. If people are handing out signals and they're handing out all this and that, it's fake. Don't believe the hype, man. They, don't allow anybody to put to put your money in their hands, man. You got to learn how to do this skill set on your own, so you don't have to rely on anybody to trade but yourself, man. So if you're if you're serious about it, if you're tired of the situation you're in, you see what I've done over the past five years. You see how I've worked my way from from being from Illinois to living on the beach in Florida. I'm not going to say where because it just disclosed information. Y'all see this post on Instagram. Y'all see where I'm at. I'm not doing that to flex. I'm saying what's possible through trading after you put in the hard work time and time again. If you really want to learn. Get a hold of me. I would love to help you. If not, if you're happy with your present lifestyle, that's perfectly okay. I'm not on a pedestal. You're not on a pedestal. We're all on the same page. I'm just saying if you want to learn another skill set and acquire some, whether it's a supplemental income or a full-time income, I'd love to help you. So get a hold of me and we'll make it happen. If not, man, y'all have a blessed day. I'm gone.